What's good guys, JDZ here with the JDZ Gaming Channel. I want to sincerely apologize for the horrific videos from my day one access with Mike. Um, I, uh, it was an eight hour long, just full train video. Um, and it, uh, I went editing, I had to edit out a bunch, about an hour and a half out of the eight hours because of technical difficulty that I was trying to live stream it and that failed so we just uh, went with a full uh, video so I apologize that uh, there I so I had eight hours of video I processed it down to like seven and a half and then I used a program to split that because YouTube would obviously wouldn't let me load a 17 and a half hour long video so I used a program to split that um, and that program did not do what it was supposed to I won't name the program because I'm slightly angered with it because all those videos, I mean the videos are solid, but if you watch them one after another, they're just complete and utter crap, so I sincerely apologize if you tried watching that and you were very confused. Um, I probably won't be doing that again, I won't be doing an 8 hour long video. Um, but we're here in the division, as you can see I've been, I've pumped in about 15 hours and it's only been out for, uh, what's it, I'm recording this uh, at 7.35 on Wednesday, so it's only been out for like math math uh 30 almost 40 some hours um but i've already logged in 50 uh i'm having a lot of fun we're at uh level 17 in this zone in uh the regular area and i think like level 13 in the dark zone which we're right near an entrance right here uh just a little side note that i want to point out because mike and i noticed it um, on your backpack here, the two little side things change with what you have equipped. So right now I have the Seeker Mine and the Turret. Uh, so those will change if I were to equip, say, the Portable Shield or the Med Pack. Those actually will change, and it actually shows your gas mask here on the side. So uh, that's a, just an interesting, cool little fact uh, I thought would be worth noticing my little balls following me. His name is Bob. That's what I decided to name, and uh, the turn's name is Frank, Bob and Frank, um, because Mike's not here right now, so it's just me. Uh, I got Bob and Frank here, but Frank decided to die, Bob will die here soon. Um, decided to carry these instead of my standard scan and heal. Uh, but the plan for this episode, whether it works or not, is we're going to go into the dark zone, and we're going to come out the dark zone. I think there's an entrance over here. If not, we'll have to improvise and get out of there fast. So that's the plan for this quick episode. I've uh, probably been playing for an hour, so I'm kind of in the groove of it. Don't have to worry about trying to learn anything. Um, I've been having a lot of fun. I'm doing really good in the story. Uh, I've just been grinding those missions out. Uh, as you can see here, I got 80% of the medical wing, 40% of the tech wing, and 50% of the security wing. So I'm just having a ball with it. Um, are you waiting I haven't for? spent that much time in the dark zone. The, uh, you might regret the not only time I've really spent in the dark zone was, was with Mike, so I had a backup. And we were a pretty formidable little team. We kind of got our asses kicked here and there, but, you know, that's expected. Okay, so the goal is just to get across the other System side of the dark zone. Warning, moving. now entering dog zone. I wish I had my scan selected. Oh, here. Show this real quick. Okay, so you saw the backpack earlier. Uh, we'll get rid of Bob. Or Frank. And see, now it's back to my standard scanner on my backpack. See how it uh, changed? I thought it was just a neat little thing. Um, I am using the, I want to make sure I quote it right, the four, M4 carbine with my eight, eight RPK as my backup, and then I have an M4 uh, if I want to switch to an assault rifle. I tried to carry both a sniper rifle and a assault rifle. Actually, I think that was a marksman's rifle now that I say it aloud. Um, I'm just going to try and get the fuck to the other side. Because I have tried, the reason I'm going through the dark zone is because I tried going down through here and right about here there's a gang Let that has just go. killed me at least a dozen times they are they were they might actually be about my same level now but at the time they were just wrecking me um, well, level 10 now in the dark zone just about 11 we're just gonna try and keep moving because we are in 
higher level area than I am. Scan out. Eight enemies found. So that one. Oh god. I don't know what level they are, but higher than me. And I just keep moving. Just keep walking. Not worth it. Not worth it. Just gonna keep. There's 19 people on the server, so fairly full the server because I think they can only shut that card door. Uh, servers only have 20 people if I remember right. We are on. Oh, yep, yep. There's the door. Oh, thank God. Oh, let's just keep moving. There should be a door, a door, a door. Aha! So there we go, we made it right across the dark zone without encountering. Watch this look actually. Attention. Exiting dark this zone. Is the shit you need. Don't oh. ask me where I got it. Where'd you get it? Stop wasting my time. The dark zone vendors are always the meanest, I've noticed. They're always the ones that are first to uh, bitch at you, they're saying. Okay, so the reason I wanted to get over to this side is to get to this nice safe house right over here. Because going through the normal way did not work for me. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, it's a I don't I don't like the ones that I have to go searching for. They're time this way. Doo 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 doo. And if you haven't played the you Noisy yet, I highly suggest area. it. Now that I have full access to it, I highly suggest it is fun. But the safe air area is here. This is where all, you can often run into other players. And of course, when I say that, there's no other players here. You need here. this and you don't even know it. I can tell you're looking to buy. Here. Nothing, nothing good. Okay. I'll survive. Doctor, how's she doing? I mean, just look at this rich environment. Hey, I mean, that's crazy that that little scene just happened. You see that? The girl was asking about her sister. The guard stopping her. That. Right. Glad you're here. Thank you. We've got a variety of issues to deal with, which I'll prioritize for you. So, we're going to do this smoothly. We're going to be focused. And we're going to take care of business. You get two and of if you those. can't do that... I'll find someone else. Oh, wow, really? You get two of those. I won't do them swiftly. I will do them at my own pace. I scan this map. No, not grenades. I don't know what I just hit. What was I hitting? Fuck. No, not, definitely not that thing. I don't know what I was doing to bring up. I don't think... I mean, just look at this stuff. This is just the level of detail. The level of detail that just went into this is Ubisoft knows what they're doing when it comes to uh, NPCs and just making it so you're immersed Warning. into an environment. You are now leaving the safe area. Um, this episode might not be the most exciting thing in the world because uh, you know what? You know what, let's add a little excitement to this. Let's go into the dark zone. Let's go back into the dark zone. But, not at this dark zone entrance. You know what, yeah, let's go to this dark zone entrance and we'll try and get to part of the dark zone that uh, I can actually deal with. Because right now, this is level, I'm level 10, or just about level 11. We'll say level 11 for sake of argument. Um, and this is uh, level 29 to 30. Uh, Dark Sun. So we'll get the safe room up here. How about there? That. And uh, then we're going to try and get to the other end of the Dark Zone. Just to see, so you can really see how uh, large this map kind of is. I mean, it's it's kind of a walking simulator what playing the main story for? going from place to place. So that uh, it is... If, warning. I think I saw a map that said uh, that it's... Transmissions map. jammed. Proximity coverage only. 
Uh, the backup yeah. activated. System hey, rebooted. I'm trying to talk. Uh, that the entire map is about the same size as Los Santos and GTA 5, except GTA 5 you're driving everywhere, so it feels a lot smaller. Here you're walking and running. So it feels a lot larger. They might be about the same size, but this definitely feels a lot larger. And it definitely helps to bring you in when you're just walking like this, waiting for something really bad to happen. And Mike pointed out yesterday that when you're going, you really don't notice how big of a place it is. This guy, I'm dead now. Until you look up and you just see all these skyscrapers looming above you. It's really, ooh, it's a box. I love getting loot that I don't have to extract. Hey, I've been to this church. This is, a uh, oh, fuck, what's the name of the church? If this is the church I'm thinking, I think I've been to this one. It was the only church that, only building for miles that didn't have its windows blown out during the 9-11 attacks. Yeah, I think if it's the same church, I don't know the name of it. Uh, if you know the name of it, please leave it down in the comment section because I cannot think of it. Can't find this stuff back oh. at the base. Foo -foo. So there's those Phoenix credits. I saw an IGN thing where they said about the uh, high level stuff, and here it is. Wow. Oh, a Dark Zone key. I have zero in my wallet. How do I. How do, I, how do you get the Phoenix credits? I don't so. Come back when you need something else. I don't know how to get else. Phoenix credits. And then taking this stuff, and not even stuff they need. Oh, now we're going in the back alley. Hitting it from the back. <coughs> okay, let's try to get some to some place somewhat reasonable for uh, my level of character right now. Fuck! I didn't want that. Why did you shoot? Want to reload. Okay. Okay. Let's just walk right down Main Street, huh? That's not safe. Apparently my scan is all used. This way. Sarah, uh catastrophe. Catastrophic Emergency Response Agency. So yeah, if you don't know anything about the division, I guess I can talk about some of the lore while I'm Oh, fuck me! Bob, hold him off! Oh! Oh no! Oh no! Oh, wowie! Wowzers! Wowzers! That went quick. I was just trying to talk a little and just one shot. Oh wow, we are in a bad area. <sighs> you go in without this, you're dead. Bitch. Um I don't know if I talked about the lore in the other videos, but uh so you're part of an agency called the Division, which is uh formerly called the SHD, which is uh Special Homeland Defense, which is obviously a branch of the, the Homeland Defense part of the United States government, same as that Sarah and the JTF that are the agents, well those are sort of, um, the division is a group of not just, fuck, I gotta go get my shit back, um, pe uh, people that are not necessarily pair like, ex-military or police, um, it's just anybody, not anybody, but people that, uh, uh, I don't know why I think if I stop talking, I won't get shot at. Um, that will help rebuild after a catastrophe. So, my character, I kind of base off uh, being a, a former firefighter, because I was a former firefighter, so that kind of just brought me into Fuck. Holy shit. Holy shit. Where'd that guy come from? I'm fucked. Okay. What? I had a dark zone key? Where did I get a key? No one told me I had a key. Oh my god. 
You realize what this means. I have to go back and get that key. I can't just ignore that key. Okay, we'll grab the key. We run for that door and get the fuck out. That's the goal. That's the goal. Okay. Um, division, uh, people that will help rebuild, uh, they're given uh, augmented uh, like a contact lens and the watch that you see at the beginning of the show and you see on his wrist. Um, and they're giving training to, of what to do when the proverbial shit hits the fan. There's people over there. We're just going to keep running and they're going to ignore us. Bob and weave, bob and weave, bob and weave. Um, and then they're dropped back into society. Uh, no one's supposed to know that they exist until they're used. Uh, they only answer to the United States president. Uh, they don't answer to like the FBI or anybody like that. They are above that. Um, and their only goal is to rebuild civilization wherever catastrophe hits. Um, what happened in this? What? I just got here! I lit literally just walked up. Fucking A. Um, this is where I start to get mad. Um, I just lost my train of thought because I'm slightly getting aggravated. Not until I start hitting my hand and breaking it on the desk am I mad. Is that That's one thing I can't understand why they have as a thing, is that when you load back in a save, you load with your cursor out and you have to stand there for three seconds. It's the most aggravating, annoying, most pissy offy three seconds of your life. See? Da -da -da. There you go. See? It's like, oh, you want to move? You want to just get back into it because you're getting very mad at the game? Yeah, we're not going to let you do that. God. Okay. I need that dirt. Bullshit! Get moving! Why did you stop? Why would you tell me I could run to cover if I can't run to cover? Fucking... No, don't load my fucking inventory. Fucking respawn! I love the cover system, but sometimes I get very, 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 very frustrated with it. I have that happen to me quite a lot. I don't know why it tells me I haven't- MOVE! God damn, like I said, that fucking five seconds is the most annoying fucking five seconds ever. I don't know why it keeps telling- why it told me when I got down that I had a dark zone key. I shouldn't have a dark zone key. I should have had three dark zone keys when I started this, but apparently they got lost somewhere along the way without the game telling me. And, of course, I'm trying to move so fast that the fucking gun just shoots off for no fucking apparent reason. I apologize if I'm cursing a lot. I'm getting aggravated because I just wanted to run across here. I swear to God. I swear to God. I just want the key back. That's all I want. And then I'll leave. There's no reason to shoot. How do they see me? Where? Where? Fuck you! I just want the key because I shouldn't even have the fucking key. Go. Jesus. I, if you don't know, in Uplay you can get a reward for three free Dark Zone keys. And I collected that reward. And then Mike and I went in the Dark Zone. And guess what? It just, I didn't have the three keys. So now... Mike has his three keys, I don't have my three keys, and I don't know where they went or why I don't have them. All I know is I never had them unless I had them at the very beginning and never noticed it and I died somewhere along the way and it just never fucking told me.
don't know why I think if I whisper in real life, the game will hear me. It's just down the fucking street. Just keep running. Just keep running. Holy shit. I hate the dark zone. I hate the dark zone so much. Let's check out this area. Warning. You are now entering a contaminated area. All the chests are fucking level 30. Oh my god, look how much experience now I've lost. The contaminated area. When I started this, my I was almost level 10, like I was right on the cusp of it. Because of those fucking assholes, I'm down to nothing, like half of that. God. Yes. We'll go to where I can actually handle the dark zone, and then I'll be in the dark zone. There's a chest in here that'll probably be fucking level 30. I don't know why I think this one would be any different. What? Are there enemies in the... No, just leave, Justin. Just leave. Apparently, the enemies can now be in the contaminated areas. Even though that shouldn't be a thing. I don't give a shit. and get the fuck out of here. This is a horrible idea. Why did I think it was a good one? I got stuff Shut the fuck up. Save your life. Yep, get the fuck out. Thank you. Thank you, not thank you. You can't fast travel to the dark zone entrances? Oh. Yeah, why can't I fucking fast travel to the dark zone? I can fast travel to mission areas, but I can't fast travel to dark zone areas. That's annoying on like 80 levels. Oh yeah, fast travel in this game takes fucking forever. I don't know why or what. Do yep, halfway. Do do do. I love how the lowest level of the dark zone is recommended level dark zone level 14 um how can the lowest level of the dark zone be level 14 recommended if you've never been in the dark zone that's like saying to get 10 years of or you need 10 years of experience for this job but it's an entry level job or you need 20 years of experience in your uh fucking 19 doesn't work. We'll try and take on one gas station or something in the dark zone and we'll call the episode a wrap. Because otherwise, Justin's gonna get very angry. And when Justin gets very angry, he starts hitting his fists and cursing a lot. If you haven't noticed already. <coughs> what are you waiting for? Take what? a look. God, they're the I most got everything you need. Yeah, they're the most assholey people. Biohazard warning. Transmissions jammed. Proximity coverage only. Backup activated. System rebooted. Yeah, see, it says Caution. level 14. Entering dark zone. Level 14. It's like, but... No, there's no bad guys. It makes no sense. How can you have one without the other? Targets found. What? Holy shit, dude. Okay. Agent Diam inbound on your position. Chopper is inbound. Do it, it'll be my first time to go in the road, though. Agent, I am inbound on your position. He's on me. He 
seems very new to this. Chopper is inbound. We got enemies moving in. Whoa. Oh, I thought I could get it fucking on. Fuck that guy. God damn it, why does it keep saying I have a Dark Zone key? Fuck. God, I hate life. I hate the Dark Zone. It's hard enough with NPCs, er, with uh, fucking regular people. I don't need fucking NPCs fucking it up too. salty about me stealing his shit. I feel like we're both going to be in a standoff here with each other. Least exciting the dark zone's been since I've been in here. <coughs> I know I feel like he's gonna shoot me the second I go up there. <laughs> I got oh, I got somebody way out there. out and we're just gonna leave. Simple as that. Nice, simple, dark zone fun. Smiles! Smiles! Let's all just be underway. friends! Let's all just be friends! Okay. He's not doing anything. We're all being cool. Oh, bada. And we go. Ready to bring it on board. Right, we're leaving. I'm leaving like a good person. I'm gonna walk right into fucking NPCs right now. Oh, but that up. I don't think you can actually steal someone's shit once it's being extracted, but we're just gonna watch. Just to be fucking sure. Okay, we're clear. Packages yeah, kill like a shit. Complete. Oh, 1911, that's worse. Oh well. Okay, guys, I think that's where we'll end the episode. Uh, it might not have been the most exciting thing, but a lot of me getting mad. Once again, I do sincerely apologize for uh, day my day one videos being all out of sync and everything. Um, I definitely won't be using that video recording software, or the video splitting software, I guess. It's not the recording, it's the splitting. Um, I sincerely apologize um, if you were watching that all the way through. Uh, if you like the video, uh, please drop it in the box so I know. Uh, still trying to get the channel up and running. We're at a pretty early stage. Uh, not trying to get famous or anything. I would just like to uh, have more than a few followers. Be nice. 
be make me feel like what I'm doing here is worth hitting the record button. Um, not to get jump on the pity train or anything. Just uh, you know, tell your friends about it or drop a like. And I really, really do appreciate it. It means a whole lot to me. Um, as always, if you have any comments, questions, or concerns, please leave them down in the box. I'll be sure to read them. And as always, have a great one.